and hey folks how are you doing it's fabulous friday um i'm up earlier so i'm going to get well it's probably not early for you but it's earlier for me because i stayed up late last night but i hope you all are doing well i appreciate you guys for reaching out to me for readings and being so gracious and kind enough to watch my video and hang in there with me um so <laughs> It's interesting to me how, as a parent, I'll put it this way, as a parent, even maybe in a relationship, you love someone, right? And you want them to be loyal and true to you and stick by you no matter what. And what happens, more so I think with kids than anything else, is that person is that way initially uh they're loyal to you they would die for you you know all of this kind of stuff especially if you are filling their coffers and you're making all their dreams and wishes come true and and all the while all the while while they're smiling in your face and they're saying yes and yes daddy or yes father or, or what have you they've got their own thing going on inside themselves, their own desire for their own life. I would almost say plot and scheme, but I don't want to go like that. But they have a desire for their own life. They want to be able to express themselves without it always having to be in alignment with what mommy or daddy say or do. Because the truth of the matter is our children come through us. And that is it. And we do our job as basic training, basic training. And then once they graduate high school, they are on their own. Some of them get that. Some of them don't. Some make right decisions. Some of them don't. Time will only tell. Time will tell. But imagine you do all the stuff and you graduate high school and you get some little degree or whatnot, you know, just any old kind of degree that, you know, maybe daddy can pay for and you do that stuff. And then you appear very loyal as it is to your advantage as an adult. As long as daddy is still having manufacturers in China, make your things. As long as daddy puts you and your significant other into the White House, your spouse working in a key position without being vetted at all was able to skip through and, and all of that because daddy could do it, right? And then you get tired of it. You, get, you do. You get tired of hearing your name on the news all the time, maybe wrapped up in stuff that you did or you didn't do. You get tired of your husband always being caught up in stuff. And then there comes a time that your husband goes to another country and makes a deal, right? And he comes home with a boatload of cash. Do we need daddy anymore? Are we going to be that loyal anymore? Are we finally going to draw a boundary? Are we going to be our own person now? Yeah, chances are. You see, most men will desire a son, right? They want sons because they want the sons to be just like them. This is all in their imagination. They want the sons to be like them. But they don't realize it's the same thing for you, for me. That first daughter, that oldest daughter, is the child that's like daddy. Mm -hmm. It is the child that's like daddy. Think about it in your own life. Think about your oldest child. You're going to tell me in my comments, oh, no, no, no. She's just like me. She does this just like me because you're being subjective. If you step back and zone out a little bit and be a little objective, you'll notice that she's got quite a few ways more like daddy. And if daddy isn't there, then there are ways that you're not familiar with. They, your side of the family doesn't do that or do this. Mm -mm. That's because they're like daddy's side. So here we ha have Ivanka, right? Uh, the quintessential prima donna, 
daughter of the president that really wanted to be the first lady who had the audacity to fix her mouth to say that mess and keep on strutting like it's not anything, who's got a whole new false face, you know, because she paid to look like that. They all did. All the kids went up under the knife to look the way whoever wanted them to look because whoever wasn't satisfied with the way they looked helped with that cost and those expenses. Here we are. And now it's time to pay the piper. You knew daddy was a shyster. You didn't know no when you were young or when you were 12 or 14. But when you got to be about 17 or 18, you were listening around the house. You know how we girls do as teenagers. Mom's on the phone or maybe mom and dad is having a private conversation or what have you. And we walk up on it and we take a little gander, a little listen. We want to see, we want to hear what's going on. So I think that you did know. You knew about a lot of things. You knew who your daddy was. Mm -hmm. You stood behind him in all that wrong. Yeah. And now New York fraud case, they want you to come out and speak. And, and, and the your brothers, the dumb and dumbers, they said, no, no. Not going to do it, can't do it, won't do it, whatever, whatever. You said, let me get down there. I'm going to beat everybody to the punch. And that's what you did. That's pretty shysty. That's pretty slick, Ivanka. Let me tell you, girl, that was pretty shysty. You knew the truth was coming out. You knew this, your, your, this duck, your daddy, is cooked on many levels. Your inclination was to get yourself out of it. You had a plan and you acted on that plan to let me get down there right away. It's me, it's Don Jr. and the other one. <laughs> and the three of you. And you said, I'm making the move first. And you did. You move with swiftness. Trying to claim your impunity, your innocence, you didn't have anything to do with it. You didn't sign anything is what you said. You didn't know nothing about that. You didn't, you didn't sign anything. But wait a minute. Weren't you signing things in 2012? You didn't sign anything, any loans or any this and that in 17. But what about 2012? Mm -hmm. You were signing things. See... First of all, you have a love for the fame. You like the fame. You do. You like the fortune. You like the socialite world. You like the, you know, chatting with the Upper East Side of New York and, and all of that. You love that. The girls click and now the mommy club and, you know, all of that and the nannies. And, and that's everything to you. And for somebody to even seem like they were going to take that away or tarnish your name if you spend time alienating yourself, you and your husband, from your, your people, that's the last thing that they were going to do is besmirch you and have you trying to dig yourself up out this hole again. So you didn't mind going down to the old courthouse and tell them I didn't know nothing, I didn't do nothing, it wasn't me, it was them. It was them. Yeah, you threw him under the bus, girl. I am, I'm still suffering from a cold. I really want to laugh at you, you know, because it's smart, it's crafty, it's deceitful, it's dishonest, it's Donald Trump. Uh -huh. Just like your daddy. you just like your dad. You played him to the left, girl. You played him like a, a fool, girl. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You played him like a fool. And you went down there and you did what you did and you said what you said. And now you like, please forever leave me out of this. I don't have anything to do with this. Even though, yes, you know, it, it's, it's you guys practice to tell little white lies and, and exaggerate and fib and make yourself believe you, you taking your power back. Who had your power? You. You're responsible for you. Mm -hmm. So you dash down there. And you offered this court whatever you could get, whatever you could give to them that you knew about. And you made sure to let them know that you were not a part of this whatsoever. Mm -hmm. 
And then you're going to go back and you're going to shut down again. You're going to shut down and you're going to close off and you're not communicating with your family. You're not going to be communicating with them. You didn't go through the Trump lawyers or nothing. You went around. You went around that whole mess and you played them like a fool. Mm -hmm. Because you, being like your daddy, knows what a lot of these poor Americans don't know, that he's not worth a grain of salt, that he couldn't, he could not run a business to save his life. You knew that, but you, you, you knew, but you weren't going to speak on it. As long as you were winning and getting something out of it. Now y'all got a little money stashed up and stocked up. You don't need to lean on daddy as much anymore. Daddy don't need to save your husband. <coughs> he don't need to save your husband anymore. Mm -mm. Nope. And you got the gift of storytelling and lying and manipulation down to an art. You're a Scorpio woman. Now, no hate on Scorpios, but a Scorpio woman, she's intelligent. They always want to say Virgo is so smart. Gemini is so smart. Those are two Mercury signs that they always give the credit of. They're so smart. They're so, you know, okay, we're smart. We're smart to a, a you know, to a point. But we're smart from reading and research and asking questions. Scorpios are smart from living life, from keeping their eyes open and their ears open, for not trusting everybody. They're not, they're not naive. They're cunning. They're clever. They're smart in that way. They are. Just telling it like it is. They can play a really good role. You're a number five life path. So you're accustomed to changes and moving and chaos and confusions and ups and downs. So this stuff is, doesn't shake you. People don't understand how solid a Scorpio can be. They're not a Pisces. They're not a Cancer, okay? They are solid. They're solid. Their water is ice, okay? It's ice. It's not a pool like Pisces is drowning in. It's not a hot tub of warm bubble bath that cancer is soaking in. Mm -mm, it's ice water. And she will stick to her story. You're not going to be able to break her. I don't care. She's not easy intimidated. She's not an easy intimidated person. Mm -mm. She's going to walk away with this unscathed mm -hmm. and then she gonna do just like her daddy gonna sit on that on that wealth it's those brothers that need to be afraid not Ivanka mm -mm. she did what she did she knew she what she was going to do she had already decided that if anything goes wrong if we come out of this with a problem this is what I'm going to do I don't know anything I don't know I don't know you know, like her daddy takes the fifth. She was going to play crazy. Mm -hmm. She's going to come out unscathed. You best believe that. And she's going to be back sitting on all that money and that wealth. And uh, i tell you one thing. <laughs> her husband better be concerned. Because she's always planning and thinking and has moves. And being that Scorpio, she's going to keep it to herself. Any moves she makes is going to be kept to herself. They won't be for public fodder. This is the statement she made. That's it. That's all. Anyways, guys, I enjoyed spending a little time with you. I um, hope to do some more shorts. Shorts are supposed to be the thing. I don't really like to keep up with what the thing is. I like to talk about what I like to talk about. But um, anyways, guys, hit me up if you want a reading. Peace, love, soul, 6160 at gmail.com. And have a fabulous Friday. Bye now.